for Skiff, you can use crypto wallet like MetaMask or Brave Wallet or Coinbase Wallet or others to sign in and set up your account. So you still own that private key and you own that identity. We never get access to that. You're just kind of proving you have access to it so you can receive mail at it. Then we also integrate with the interplanetary file system. I'm sure you've come across the whole ecosystem of decentralized storage and your viewers might engage with that, but IPFS and Filecoin, StoreJ, Arweave, go down the list and they all have their own tokenomics and token systems. So what we've done is we actually let you enable IPFS storage in your account. So we'll take data, we'll encrypt it with a private key that only you own, and then you can also store that in a decentralized manner. Because it's encrypted and only you can access it, you can actually have some flexibility on putting it on a decentralized network. And then it becomes more censorship resistant, it becomes accessible all the time, etc. A lot of those concepts are what we try and integrate into Skiff, a lot of that decentralized storage and identity. But then a lot of what we spend time on too is just making a good email product. Good mobile apps, good web apps, really easy to use and log in. So everyone has their own email workflows and we spend a lot of time on that.